Hey everyone, welcome to the first video for the Architectural Visualization AI Traffic System for the Unreal Engine I'm currently developing. In this first video, I'll show you how to set up a vehicle to use inside Unreal. If you already have a vehicle properly rigged, you can skip this step. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I am using 3D Max, but the concept is the same for other 3D software packages. I want to mention the AI Traffic System utilizes headlights, turn lights, and brake lights. So you may want to have a material ID for brakes, left turn, right turn, and headlights. It's not necessary, so this is entirely optional. The material ID you use for the four light groups is entirely up to you as well. So with that said, let's start the rigging process. All right, so to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and start the bone creating process. Uh, you do that by going to the Create tab, and then under um, Systems, you'll see Bones. And we'll go ahead and create our first bone, click again, right click, and then we're going to right click again to stop creating bones. Uh, select that initial bone we created and delete it. We don't need it. And we're going to select this guy here and make sure that we zero him out at 000 world space. And um, we're also going to set the rotation to be zero as well. You can also right click on these scroller wheels and reset automatically to zero. So now we've got that at zero. Uh, let's go ahead and name this guy vehicle underscore base. All right, control V to copy. Make sure we're on copy. And this is going to be wheel front left. Go to the top view and I'm going to place this to front left wheel. Um, I am placing it exactly at the center of the wheel. You can offset it if you like closer to where your axle will be or however you want your uh, wheel rotation to be uh, you know usually it's probably from around this area but you could place it wherever you like on your wheel um, I'm also going to make sure that I center it to the wheel as close as possible and then I'm going to copy this guy with control V again front right say okay <clears throat> drag this one on down and it should be the same alignment as the front left so select both the front and the right back to top view i'm gonna just i'm gonna hold down shift and drag it that's also going to make a copy and then this is going to be rear left copy and over here I need to rename the rear right so I'll just rear right and that is uh, let me select both of those rear wheels and make sure that they are properly aligned all right that's good enough for this tutorial all right so now what we want to do is uh, we're going to select all those bones except for the vehicle base and we're going to uh, I'm going to change the selection filter to bones only and then I'm going to choose uh, select and link and I'm going to drag from one of those bones to our vehicle base bone. So now they are properly linked to the vehicle base bone. and that should be it for setting up the bones um, you do want to make sure that your vehicle is at zero zero world space so if I select this car example again um, yeah you can see that my vehicle is zero 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 uh, make sure the vehicle base zero 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 it out and the rest of those bones are in a the position they need to be now we're going to start the skinning process so switching this back to all for selection I'm gonna select the vehicle modifier tab um, I could just use this drop down to select skin but I'm gonna go ahead and press X and type in skin choose the skin and now we're ready to start adding our bones so clicking on add uh, you could click this button here for select all and it'll go ahead and select everything that's related to the bones and go ahead and select now our bones are ready to be skinned. If I choose vehicle base and one, you'll see what 
vertices are being affected by each individual bone. Um, obviously, this is nowhere near what we want. So what we're going to do is select the vehicle base. And with the edit envelopes option still enabled, we're going to choose select vertices and select element. This is already enabled for me. And I'm going to go ahead and select the entire vehicle. If I scroll down here, uh, I will see an option here, uh, ABS effect. I want this to be 1.0. Now, 100% of this vehicle is being affected by the uh, vehicle base. What I'm going to do now is start isolating the wheels for their geometry. So for wheel front left, let's go on over to this guy. And I'm going to just drag out here to deselect everything. And then I'm going to start trying to get everything that's just this front wheel. Um, you know it's selected when it's it has a white box over each uh, vertices or vertex. Um, so in this case, I want to deselect some of these other options. I'm holding down Alt, and that's deselecting everything else that was just randomly selected that I did not want selected. And now that I have that wheel selected only, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the ABS effect, choose 1.0. Now 100% of this wheel is to the uh, front left bone. Next, we're going to do our next bone, which is front right. Same thing. I'm going to just select, uh, hold down all, deselect those vertices that I don't want selected. And same thing again. I'm going to go here and choose ABS effect 1.0. Good to go. Next wheel, uh, rear left. So I'm going to go ahead and select. And let's see here. looks like, yeah, I don't want that selected. And good to go. 1.0. And now for the last wheel, we are right. Going to select all these vertices. Deselect what I do not want selected. 1.0. So that's it. This vehicle is now ready to go. Uh, if I choose vehicle base and hit one again, you'll see that all the vehicle is still selected for the vehicle base except for the wheels. Um, yep. That should be good. So next step is to go ahead and export since i already have the bones assigned to this vehicle all i have to do is just select the vehicle file export export selected and give it the name car example dot fbx uh do one smoothing groups always on turbo smooth is optional uh the rest of those settings um in embed med uh embed media you do want to enable this if you do want your textures to transfer as well. Uh, in this case, I don't have any textures on the vehicle, so I'm just go ahead and say OK. No errors, so it's good to go. See you in the Unreal Engine. Thanks.